Welcome back to the channel. On today's video I'm going to be covering off how to repair a Max Air fan that's generated kind of a grinding, winding sort of noise when it's going down. It's to do with the gearbox going. I've contacted Max and they've now sent me out a replacement gearbox. So let's see what you get. In the kit you get two parts. It's the main drive unit and then this sleeved gear piece. The first part you're going to want to do is open up the Max Air fan. Either by using the manual razor or by using the remote or the open button. Once this is done, remove the fuse for safety. Now that we're up on the ladder on the roof, you can see the bottom of the Max Air fan. There are two screws here which need to be undone so as to gain access to the gearbox area. Now that I've taken the two screws out and lowered down the fin, you can now see the back of the fan with the two arms which lift and lower the roof. We need to disconnect these to enable us to gain access to the gearbox below. And there we go, this is the offending part right here. You're going to need to remove this spring, undo the two screws, one at the front here and one at the back. That will enable us to lift this out and then we can replace it. And there we go, that's the part taken off. There's the uh, piece I believe is making all the noise. Hang on a second, let me just see if I can separate that. So those teeth don't look that bad and nor do those so I can only presume it's inside, it's the teeth inside this unit that's playing up. So I've now got to remove the spring off the back like that. Um, and just got to disconnect this spring and away we go. So I've got the new one here and the old one. Just in case I undo this screw, which is on this nut, put this spring onto the new one and place it back inside. So there we go, there's the new piece put in place. You need to put it onto the end of the spline of this and then slot it into the hole. Well, you're making sure that you fully wound this to the open position by winding it counterclockwise. So you put it on the end of the thing. I was going to film it, but it's quite tricky trying to film it and try and hold it and get it in all at once. So as if you're okay, so putting it on and then pushing it in. Next, to put the screws back into the bottom and reattach the spring. There it is now, fixed down with the spring back in place. Now, just a case of making sure we haven't obviously lost these. Let's go back on the end here. Pull the top back down and they've got to be pushed back into the hole. There we have it, just simply putting in the last two screws on the back here. And it's all back together. Hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you do have any questions or comments, please do leave them below. I'll do my best to answer any questions you may have. If you did enjoy the video, please do hit the like button. Also, if you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to hear when the next video goes live. See you in the next video.